Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast right off the bat on today's show. Chevrolet Bolt is in the news. General Motors' little all-electric vehicle that has the best EV range of any EV in its category. It's got official pricing that's just been released recently. General Motors saying that the brand new Chevrolet Bolt will cost you $37,495 US dollars. And that is before the $7,500 tax break that will be on the first several of these automobiles. In fact, I think General Motors hasn't used a tax credit yet. So they're going to have 100, 200,000 of those tax credits to go around the brand new Chevrolet Bolt. So you're going to get a pretty good deal on an all-electric vehicle. Next up on the list, BMW is in the news, and in the news for something that I'm very excited about, because back in 2001 and 2002, BMW started their own little film company called BMW Films. In fact, they enlisted some of the greatest directors of all time, including Ang Lee and John Woo, Guy Ritchie, and of course the late John Frankenheimer, to actually build a series of small films all involving BMWs and, of course, this guy, Clive Owen. Fantastic news because we reported before that BMW Films is going to return. And actually now we got a release date. October 23rd of 2016 will be the release date of the brand new film called The Escape. Yes, with Mr. Clive Owen. So going to be a pretty exciting deal indeed. You can head on over to BMW Films and sign up for newsletters on the situation or just tune in October 23rd. Next up on the list, well, the Paris Motor Show is just around the corner, and one of the stars of the show, at least in my mind, is going to be the brand new Citroen C3 World Rally Championship automobile. Now, this is a concept piece. It's not exactly what it's going to look like, but it's pretty doggone close. And if you look at it very close, you're going to get to see a lot of what the new C3 is going to look like. Now, as far as WRC is in 2017, there's a lot of new regulations coming down. In fact, a new cap on horsepower that now allows the vehicles to make 380 horsepowers. Also, you're going to be able to lose a fair amount of weight inside of the machine. 25 kilograms, or just over 55 pounds, are going to be able to drop out of the vehicle. Brand new electric diffs in the machine. You're going to really be able to control the power distribution on all four wheels of the vehicle. And obviously, in this particular photograph, you tell that they've laxed a little bit on some of the aero rules. You're going to be able to go a little bit crazy if you're a manufacturer in the World Rally Championship. These things are going to be absolutely rocket ships. This is going to be the weapon of choice of the 2017 Rally Monte Carlo for Citroen, taking on all comers. In fact, the brand new Toyota team and of course Ford and Volkswagen. So it's going to be an exciting season next year, the year in WRC. Now, if you want to be a World Rally Championship star, but you kind of just want to do it on the cheap and do it on the public roads, you can get one of these machines, the brand new Mini Clubman John Cooper Works Edition. This vehicle will make its official debut at the Paris Motor Show. Now, the vehicle comes with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, making 228 horsepower, 258 pounds-feet of torque. That is either shifted through a 6-speed manual or an 8-speed automatic. The vehicle comes with the all four brand new all wheel drive system inside the vehicle. Zero to 62 comes in at just 6.3 seconds with a top speed of 148 miles an hour. Now, we haven't heard when this vehicle is going to hit dealer showrooms. In theory, in the next week or so, when the Paris Motor Show fires off, we'll learn more about that. We also have yet to hear U.S. pricing on this vehicle, even though we have heard rumored Euro pricing, which starts off at £29,345 sterling for the manual transmission car, or £30,945 sterling for the automatic. So we'll keep you in tune if we hear any more once the Paris Motor Show fires off in just a little over a week's time. Next up on the list, Apple is in the news. Now you know what Apple is. They've built a fairly successful MP3 player. They're big in the tablet world. And they build one of the most popular mobile phones that is alive today. 
and they want to dip their toe into this whole automobile world, possibly building their own cars, also getting into the whole autonomous automobile, and of course the infotainment setups that they would love to jump in on. There has been a rumor that they're looking to buy an organization as well. And in fact, the day of the taping of this program, there's been several outlets that are reporting that Apple is looking, or actually in talks, to buy McLaren. Yes, you heard me right. This is a strange deal, to say the least. Apple has never built a car before. McLaren has never built an EV or an autonomous vehicle or anything like that. They've kind of dabbled in the whole hybrid thing, but that's been about it. It would be an interesting pairing, but um, I for one don't see it happening. But where there's smoke, there's fire, so we may hear a whole lot more about this over the next several days, possibly at the Paris Motor Show. You want some more wacky, far-out news involving the Italian make Lamborghini? There's a rumor floating around the interwebs that Lamborghini, who said they would never use a hybrid system in their car, wants to leapfrog the hybrid setup in favor of an EV. There's a rumor that they're building an all-electric supercar that's going to be able to do 0-60 to 60 jaunts in just over 2.5 seconds with a top speed of just under 200 miles an hour. So we'll have to wait and see on this front as well. But it would be pretty intriguing to see what Lamborghini may have up their sleeve, what Apple and McLaren may have up their sleeve as far as their situation is as well. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. If you jump over there now, I've got the first teaser and some behind-the-scenes stuff on the brand-new BMW films with Clive Owens. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand-new shows as soon as they come out. I thank you for watching. We'll see you again real soon.